And here it is, my first official video on behalf of the company that I work for, Precision Electric. Precision Electric, I've been working here for about 10 years. Family-owned business, we've been doing this for quite some time. System integrator, uh, we do all kinds of things. Anything ranging from drive repair, motor repair, electronics, digital electronics, uh, drive sales, of course, which is what we're talking about today. And we also do all kinds of really intricate systems um, retrofits. Is that the right word I'm, I'm looking for? Probably retrofits. Now, this is a variable frequency drive. Uh, now, a variable frequency drive is a cool piece of technology, a very sophisticated piece of technology, uh, but it's gotten a lot simpler to use these things. Uh, this one in particular is an SM Vector series, and it's made by Lenza, or formerly AC Tech. We have distributed these drives online for about eight years now. Uh, before AC Tech was bought by Lenza, and now after AC Tech was bought by Lenza, and we still distribute them straight from our website. Now, the reason I like these things uh, is because essentially they're designed to be connected to motors. Now, a lot of people will ask, hey man, I need to take my 120 volts from my wall, and I need to convert it into 230 volts three phase. Now, while you can do that, um, the three phase that it converts it into, for those of you who don't know basic uh, power, uh, is you have, uh, you have a certain, you have a phase of electricity coming out of your wall of your house. It's a single phase of electricity. Uh, most mo motors, most bigger motors, run on three phases of electricity, which is three hot wires instead of just the one. Um, these are designed to run motors, not electronics, because what this does is it takes that, that uh, power that comes into it, 120 volts typically, or 230 volts single phase, uh, and then it will convert that into three phases. And it does that by creating a simulated sine wave. And, and when the simulated sine wave is created, it, it has jagged edges on it. Now, the reason you don't want to power like a cabinet or electronics with one of these bad boys is because that simulated sine wave will actually destroy electrical equipment. But the motors are designed to withstand that kind of abuse, and that's why they're a beautiful solution for most motors. Uh, most people use these, believe it or not, as simple phase converters for their motors. They have single phase at their shop or their house, and they need to convert it into three phase, uh, and then power whatever device uh, whatever motor they may have in their facility because that motor is big and has three phases. Uh, so this this works beautifully as that kind of solution. Um, a lot of other people will get into the more advanced functions of these, so it can be something very simple. Uh, but it can also be used for uh, controlling the speed of your motor, so you can change the speeds. Uh, and it uses this little keypad here, the up and down arrows, and a lot, pretty much every drive universally has that. Uh, this drive in particular we enjoy because it's very easy to set up. Uh, again, this is the SM Vector drive. It's the one you'll see on the website right now. We're going to be expanding that soon, the availability of different products. Um, but uh, what's nice about these is you can easily change your speeds right here. So uh, energy efficiency is a big reason why people may use this uh, because they can run their motors at the optimal speed so that they don't pull as much current or more current than necessary. Uh, and these drives can get, it, they can get as, a lot more complicated than that. You can obviously have preset speeds and you use these little terminals. These are control terminals and you wire electrically, you wire the control terminals. Now make sure you subscribe to my channel because we're going to go into some detail on how these things work uh, and we'll get into more discussion on that. Uh, but essentially what these allow you to do is do everything from a basic simple phase converter all the way up to very sophisticated control. They talk about things like PID loops where you take feedback or real world feedback from like a sensor and you can adjust your speed on the fly. Uh, you could talk to other electronic devices like PLCs or programmable logic controllers. Uh, the world of digital electronics is, is vast and there's a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, and that's why I kind of created this segment talking about digital electronics. It's, it's dedicated to what we kind of do here. Um, and remember, we've sold these drives for a long, long time. And, and one of the main things we, we offer along with what you guys buy is support. So that's a big part of the product service. Uh, so make sure you guys check that out because if you're in the market for one, don't hesitate to ask questions. That's, that's why we're here. Uh, so that's it for this video. Basically, a variable frequency drive is a, a electronic device, can be very small or very large, designed specifically to run a motor uh, at varying speeds or at different profiles, depending on what you're trying to do with it. Uh, now, how you're going to get it to do those things 
it depends on the drive itself. This one we like because it's a lot easier to use and it's very reliable and robust. Um, it, but uh, if you want to get into something more sophisticated, it depends on the application. So thank you guys for stopping by. I hope I answered your question. And of course, if you have any questions or if you're in the market for a variable frequency drive, post it in the comments below. Or uh, if you're in the market, be sure to check out the website. There's an online shopping cart system now and you can also uh, contact us by phone. So uh, thanks for stopping by. First digital electronics video. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys liked it and uh, there's plenty more to come. So I'm excited about covering this drive in particular. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.